this video, I want to try and get over the concept of Vectorworks having more than one design layer. Now, when it first loads, um, I only have, and I'll show you in here, um, design layers. I only have one design layer. It's sector one to one. Well, let's click on that. Scale. I want that to one to a hundred because I'm going to construct um, a house design. And I want the plans to be more or less one to a hundred. But what I want to do is to create ground first and roof plan. So let's have a look at this. And um, like all good Blue Peter viewers, I'm going to go to one that I've already done. This is a building regs um, drawing that I did um, some time ago uh, for a job. And as you can see, um, I've got a series of well, I've got a series of sheets where I've done all the preparation for printing out, but I've got a series of design layers that sit on top of each other. And there's the existing ground floor layer. Now, without touching it, there's the first floor, and as you can see, it's right above it. And there's the roof plan. So the roof plan is sitting on top of the first floor, which is sitting on top of the um, of the uh, ground floor plan. Now, when I come to do, say, the existing um, floor plans, all I've done is taken one viewport and I'm looking down onto the existing design layers. Now, if I go to the object info palette and look at it, you'll see there is a class there and there's also a layers button. And if I go down to it, you can see that I can change whichever layer I want to show. So I can copy and paste this and then just change the layer. So let's just do that. Let's just change the ground floor and put that on. And let's say make that the first floor. And as you can see, it changes immediately. And because it's directly over the top, of the sheet below it, I can do this. So I can look down a building. I can even, if I want to, I can even put two together. Now that sometimes gets a little complicated, but it allows me to see what's going on with the floors beneath. Now in this particular case, I've got a bit of a conflict around here, but I know they're only stud walls, so it's not a big problem for me. So what I'll do is I'll go back up to the classes. No, not the classes. I want to go to the layers and I'll switch off the ground floor. And there it is. I can see the first floor. I've got the first. Let's just change that back to the ground floor where it should be. Um, go to layers and switch that on and switch the existing ground floor on. So I'm back to where I started. But I wouldn't be able to do that unless I had sheets of design layers sitting on top of each other and the only way I can look at it is the way we used to draw on the board where you used to get the ground floor then you put another piece of paper over the sheet here of tracing paper over the top of it and trace over it and exactly the same way it comes now sometimes when I'm drawing like this I don't want to do that that the existing ground floor is fine and what I want to do is to put the first floor on top of it but use the existing structure so what you can do is go into organize. You can go onto the existing or uh, the existing ground floor. Say there's a basement on that. Well, what I could do is I could duplicate that. Call that existing basement. Press OK and uh, let's move that and you see if I just grab hold of the handle I can put it underneath the ground floor so it's in the right place press OK and I'm now on the existing basement and I can now start to alter this structure quite quickly well obviously I've got no uh, thing like that and the wall there is out and I can stretch that down and uh, join that on there and as you can see the existing outline is probably correct, but the internal walls need to be moved around and the, the staircase down needs to be looked at and perhaps there isn't um, um, anything underneath the utility so I can take that off. But it means I can construct a new drawing quite quickly. And the method of going into a sheet layer and say I've got the existing ground floor, sorry, existing elevations, we don't want that. 
existing uh, existing floor plans. I can go onto that. I can do copy, and I'll just put it up here out the way. And I've got a new viewport. I don't have to create a new for viewport. All I can do is copy it and paste it into place. And then I can go into my layers on that one and change it to basement. And do that. And I've got a basement plan already made up. So it's a very quick and easy way of constructing. And it's unique to Vectorworks, I think, anyway, the way you can draw like this. Very akin to the way we used to draw. Very powerful. Cheers.